Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to Vlogtober, day 19. We're cruising along. Um, it makes it October 19th, 2024. I've never said the year, I don't think. I put it in the title, but I've never said it in the video yet this year. Mr. Maverick. Hey, you, little guy, what are you doing? You busy sniffling over there? What are you doing? Come here. Mav, come say hi while you're in here. Say hi, everybody. Mm. Mm. Oh, <laughs> say hi, guys. By the way, Mr. Panda wanted to give you belly rubs, so here's some belly rubs from Panda. You liking the belly rubbins? Yes, you liking them? I'll give you some ear scratches, too. Yes. Say thank you. <laughs> oh, you're so tired. You're always so tired. People are going to think I'm sleep depriving you, you little sleepy boy. Anyway, <laughs> Maverick joined us for a second here. He's still here. He's just getting the pets down here. Um, so hi, happy Saturday. Oh my gosh, happy Saturday. Um... I hope your weekend is going well, starting well. Tomorrow is Fozzie for me, guys, so my weekend is going well. Um, I can tell you already. Um, yeah, I just got home from work, technically. Um, well, a little while ago, it's actually really, really late for me. And I thought, here I thought, okay, so yesterday, I got my squares done. I got my squares done yesterday. Like, right after I drew them, last night or however you want to put it, I got them done. I was like, I'm ahead of the curve. I'm going to come home from work. I'm going to do my video, like, right away. I was at work really late tonight. <laughs> and um, But I was still like, well, I got my squares done, so that's going to work out. And then I just didn't come do my video. <laughs> um, I just didn't. It's it's really late. It's, like, almost 6 in the morning type of really late. Um, as... Those of you who watch my video right away when it comes up will notice it obviously didn't go up as early as it usually does. <laughs> so, uh, sorry about that. Um, you get a chance to sleep in for the weekend, maybe. I don't, I don't know. What are you doing out there? <laughs> He's like on his back and making those noises like... <laughs> <laughs> on the couch anyway um yeah I don't have a good excuse I was just kind of relaxing because um today was the great debate whether I was going to go to work because I technically wasn't it's normally a work day for me I technically wasn't put on the schedule because long ago when Fozzie was uh starting this tour when it was first announced and it was announced that aunt, my friend Andy's band was coming with them. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to go to, uh, extra shows that I wasn't really comfortable driving solo to or not. Um, I asked for extra days off and I had told my boss like, Oh, I might, I might come to work if I don't end up going to these shows well, lo and behold, Andy is no longer with the band he was with. So, obviously, you know, I've explained this a few, few times, but still want to see my boys in Fozzie really bad. Um, but there, there are always going to be other shows that I'm closer, you know, that are closer, that I'm more comfortable driving to. Because they're the headliners and they're they're always gonna, you know, wanna see me. They're my my friends, my buddies, my compadres. Um like seeing them is never a question. Uh so there will be other chances um closer to home. So uh, I'm not going to make the like uncomfortable drives where I'd be really sleepy and all that. So long story short, um, I had told my boss that, you know, like, sorry, I didn't make it in time for you to schedule me, but I could. And, um, she pretty much told me today, no, don't come in. <laughs> 
like not mean, not not rudely. She just she let know you're gonna have a drive on Sunday and no, don't. <laughs> she like just rest. So I am going to guilt free listen to her. Um, I thought I thought that uh, Nate might be. I mean, not mad or anything, but like sad or a little like, oh, I get stuck at work kind of frustrated or something because he didn't ask for today off uh, when I did because at first he thought he might be going to the concerts with me and stuff. Um, so I was going to like out of guilt offer to come in for a little bit and help out with some of the workload. But um, he he was like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> Rest up. <laughs> so, like, nobody was making me feel bad, which I'm one of those people who naturally feels bad, you know? Um, even if people aren't trying to make me feel bad, I kind of just have this air of feeling guilty um, or feeling bad or feeling the need to apologize. Like, that. that's just me sometimes. So this was one of those instances where I was like, if I've... Like, kind of like, if I've caused you any discomfort or anything, any inconvenience, like, I'm really sorry, what can I do to fix it, you know? Um, and, and nobody expressed anything like that, which was a huge relief. <laughs> so, I'm staying home, I'm staying home with Maverick. Um, we're going to sleep. Uh, we're going to sleep a lot, because I'm probably uh, going to end up driving home tomorrow, which is fine. Uh... It'll be a lot of night driving, which I so, so vastly prefer. And that's not sarcasm at all. It's not, I know it kind of sounded like it. It is not. I so much rather prefer night driving uh, to day driving. Like, I despise driving during the day, <laughs> uh, especially on highways or anything. I, I hate it. Um, so it'll all work out. <laughs> And I'm going to get lots of sleep, I hope. You know, sometimes the best laid plans or whatever, you know, sometimes they don't work out. But we'll see what the day brings. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to be, that's my plans for the day is just rest. I'm going to, I always have this, I have this like big brown, you may have seen it in other like road trippy videos that I've done. I have this big brown bag that I got it from like Goodwill like forever ago I may have had it before I even moved in here um but it's like it's a giant I got it at Goodwill as a purse but it's I almost want to call it a duffel bag it's got two short handles like a purse but it's got one big over the shoulder strap and it's like brown velvet and it does open up like a purse. There's no zipper. There's no anything. But it's just, it's huge. It's so comfortable to wear. Um, because it is like a giant crossbody strap. It's, it's just, I can't even explain how amazing this thing is. It holds so much. It's almost like a big Mary Poppins duffel bag purse, beach bag. I don't even know. It's, it, I love it. Um, it's wonderful. And I, if I'm going away for just like a night or a weekend or something, or I would imagine like I, since I've had it, I haven't gone on like an airplane trip. But if I did, actually, I just, I don't know the rules anymore of flying since I haven't done it in a long time. But if you're allowed like a purse as a carry on, that would be my purse. <laughs> um, just because it's you can you can I feel like you could reach in and pull out like anything um it's like my bag of holding you know um any nerds in the house would hopefully get that uh reference <laughs> um but I'm gonna pack that this afternoon because um and I mean it holds anything like I'm gonna put I have like my makeup bag because I like to do my makeup at the shows generally just so there's no chance of me smudging it and messing it up and I know you would think I would mess it up less if I did it at home but I mean when I say makeup bag I will have all the you, you know the necessary equipment to 
take it back all off or to fix it or I'm fully equipped <laughs> in this makeup bag anyway. So I mean, my, my whole little makeup bag that's packed tight with everything I could possibly need. That I pack that in there. I pack um, bottles of water for you know waiting in line and for after the concert because you know you dehydrated. You need your your hydration. Um, what else goes in there? Anything like uh, I just like to start out by making sure like my ID and my wallet and everything are just in there because um, there's also pockets in the side. Like this thing is wonderful. Um, Anytime I'm taking like any kind of medication or something, especially if I'm going like overnight, I'll put that in a pill bottle or something and that gets tucked in there. If I'm going anywhere that needs, um, like especially this was kind of a back in the day thing more because now we have the easy pass thing and all. But like if I needed uh, um, tolls on the tollway, I would put coins or money in there for that, like specifically. Um any kind of snacks go in there. Uh, my tickets, obviously, if they're not like on my phone, they go in there. Uh, just anything. Uh, deodorant for like after the show, because you know, you sweat and everything. <laughs> that goes in there. Um, just anything that you might, pretty much anything that you might need. Um, usually, like, I'll take. I'll wear, like, especially in weather, like, now, like, now that it's getting colder out, I'll be wearing my hoodie, and I don't like to take that into the concert, so by the time it's time to take it off, that gets folded up and shoved in there, too. <laughs> it's just, it's a bag of everything, so, um, but yeah, anyway, that's gonna get packed today, so I can just pick it up and go tomorrow, um, And yeah, I I have to. I've already found my my virtual ticket that I had bought because I bought David's ticket quite a while ago because the machine shop tends to uh, to sell out for Fozzy. Um, and and today is relaxing. Other than that, crocheting and relaxing and spending time with Maverick. <laughs> and that's probably gonna be it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take advantage of yeah of my boss even telling me not to not to come in. So that's gonna be that. <laughs> um, yeah, work today was I was worried it was gonna be really bad because I knew we were down uh, shifts, and um, I was headed to work today when my friend Seth messaged me. And he was like, I have a surprise for you. And I was like, what? What's the surprise? Um, and then the next message he sent me was, he goes, never mind. You'll find out when you get here or when you get to work. And I was like, what does that mean? Well, it turns out the surprise was he decided to fill in, <laughs> fill in on the shifts. So my, I got to work with my best friend all night. So I was really happy about that. And, um, yeah, he saved he saved us for the night, which was really nice. Um, so we had a really good night, in my opinion. It was a long night, but we had a really good night. And uh, yeah, that was it. I did get um, I took my movie marquee project with me, and I did get a lunch break, so I started working on part of that. Uh, yeah, I noticed I said started working on because I have been pretty much just having the time to work on my squares for this uh, fanfic blanket. And that's about it. So uh, I told you October with, in the movie Marquee stuff, I told you that uh, it was going to end up being like a cat mat size thing again because uh, I was just going to have a busy month and I, I knew I would. And uh, that's, that's what it's looking like. It's going to be at least a smaller project. Uh, and with David driving to the concert tomorrow, um, I'm planning on getting an awful lot of it done on the trip to catch up. <laughs> and, then, and then my vacation's coming up after that. So <clears throat> it's going to get done. But um, 
it's getting started late in the month, which is also why there hasn't been an update because it's just now getting full on started. I hadn't even, I hadn't even uh, picked my yarn until recently because <laughs> I was kind of, um, I was staying away from the black, red, and white parts of the movie poster to like prove a point to myself that there was more colors in it just to, there, there is mind you i did use black i will i'm you know what wait for the movie marquee update and you'll see what i used i don't need i don't need to spread all that here <laughs> anyway um but yeah so i, I did that at work today because because i had my squares done i didn't need to take them with me um and yeah so Let's talk about the squares. I want to make sure my other yarn advent. Nope, that's the 24th that we have. So uh, we're good there. Um, so for my fanfic advent blanket, uh, if you remember, we drew Chrissy yesterday. So for Chrissy, um, I had her picture right here. <laughs> brain reboot <laughs> um Chrissy the cheerleader so I did go with the Hawkins high colors so I did green and white and then I reversed them so I did white and green so it's kind of like the the home and the away uniforms right so I kind of like the thought of that actually so those were my squares for Chrissy And I'm sorry if I'm if I'm um, rushing through here, but I didn't I didn't have a whole lot to update you guys on today because just work pretty much. And then um, it's, it's like six in the morning, so I want to make sure to get this up. And I'm I do have to get to bed. I mean, I might I'm kind of hungry, so I might make something small for it would be dinner. Just it's a late dinner for me. Um, for me and Maverick. I don't think Maverick's going to say no to, to dinner. So while this is uploading, so that'll give us time to eat and digest a little bit because uh, YouTube's been uploading really slow for me lately. I don't know what's up like on my phone internet or my regular internet because at first I thought it was just my Wi-Fi being dumb, but it's any internet. And usually my phone uploads really quickly, but just been uploading pretty slow I don't know I don't know but it does eventually get there so let's draw for the next one and then I'm gonna let you guys go for right now when I wake up I'm hoping to actually get the uh, the other yarn video done all right this one seems good do we got here yes we got a side character all right this could be anything color wise too like anything because i don't think he has any colors that specifically are him maybe i'll have to put some thought into this because i didn't put a lot of thought into like color wise um the, the side characters i just knew i wanted them in my blanket but i got keith Keith might be by far my favorite side character. I'm going to stick him up right here. But um, we first meet Keith as the... I think he's the manager. He seems to really be the only employee at um, Palace Arcade. When the kids are playing at the arcade and he's walking by and he's eating his uh, Cheetos and... The kids are like razzing him pretty bad. They're saying he's got really bad acne and he's going to spread it to Mike and his family when he wants a date with Nancy and um, Lucas bribes him later to be in the back room with uh, Max for a while. Uh, so he can tell her about everything about like Elle and all the, you know, the secret going ons and Hawkins. Hi, little man, you coming to visit again? Um, so Keith's, Keith's around, you know, um, and then later in season four, he's, he's also 
at the time, it seems, the only real employee at uh, Family Video, which, as it turns out, if you if you pay attention, the arcade and Family Video are kind of in the same plaza building, mini mallish area. They're like right in connected, kind of, um, which is cool. It kind of gives you like if you've seen uh, if you've seen Clerks, how the the convenience store and the and the video store are like right there connected so you know they can go back and forth the employees go back and forth talking to each other uh it, it's kind of that little vibe like the two places are just like right there um and keith seems to manage them both so or at least work at them both and he seems to be the only <laughs> the only employee until he hires robin and steve to work at family video with him um, I'm almost certain he is the manager at Family Video because they do talk about uh, his his computer in his office or something like that at some point uh, in season four when he's not actually there. Like the actor Maddie Car Cardiopolis um, wasn't credited in season four, meaning he wasn't there. But Robin said something about his office or his computer in his office or something like that so like uh keith was honorably mentioned <laughs> um so yeah i hope he's in season five <laughs> um i hope he's okay from the destruction and everything that happened at the end of season four i kind of worry about my side characters you know but um but yeah, I mean, Keith's just that sarcastic, geeky guy. Uh, in my fanfic, he is one of my character's, like, very best friends. And he's a very unlikely friend for her. Um, just because he's... Not that my character is, like, the epitome of cool or anything like that. She's definitely not. But he's such a live in your mom's basement nerdy kind of guy that it's just a weird duo I guess but they are friends they kind of bond over um like horror movies and things like that um and I, I kind of picture Keith being really sarcastic and her just getting that sarcastic humor that he's got <laughs> And he, he might have a little bit of a take it easy soft spot for her maybe because they're friends, but he's, he's pretty vicious with everyone else. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, I really like Keith. I like, I like the thought of that just dynamic again, very platonic, very platonic. Um, maybe she f like feeds his delusion of, oh, I thought I saw Nancy looking at you today, you know? <laughs> <laughs> maybe not that's kind of cruel because I don't I don't really see Nancy as a Keith kind of girl I mean honestly I kind of think Keith could do better <laughs> but no I really I really do like Keith I think there's a, a really sweet gamer girl out there for him somewhere you think so too Maverick huh are you a Keith fan are you a Keith fan you are aren't you team Keith right But anyway, that is our pick for today. So um, hopefully I found a really cool picture um, to show you guys when I put it up there. But yeah, he doesn't really have an outfit. So in particular, he didn't even have the uniform in a uh, family video. I don't think he might have had the little vest like Steve had. I can't remember offhand. Well, anyway, I will check in with you guys later, but thanks for putting up with me for the day. Um, yeah, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Love you.